Get me every time. That's what she said. Hi, yo. Welcome to the show, everybody. This is Angel <laughs> the Comic Live. It is Thursday, 8.30 Eastern Time. And I'm your host, Angel the Comic. This is my uh, co-host. I am Mike Lowe of Mike Lowe Productions. Engineer. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, sorry. Uh, that's all I got. No, thanks. Co- go ahead and cut me off. No, I was going to say engineer extraordinaire. Mm, I do things. Engineer extraordinaire, Mr. Mike Lowe, Mike Lowe Productions. Yeah, I'm, I'm into stuff. How you feeling, baby? I'm that's, feeling what gonna, that's what I'm going to ask you every show from now on. How you feeling, baby? It's feeling real great. New York Feeling pivot. pretty awesome. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Super st- stellar. <laughs> it's a lot of adjectives. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff for you today. <laughs> what are you uh, watching lately? I'm feeling excellent. Yeah? Excellent. Uh, what am I watching? I'm watching yeah, Master Chef. Watching? Nice. The Chef of Masters. Is it the second episode or third episode they aired? I believe it's the third. Third. Third, uh, third episode on that. Kurt, um, wait, it was Emeril Lagazi on the first, because it's Master Chef Legends. So right, Emeril so, Lagazi on the first episode. Second episode was Curtis Stone? Curtis Stone, yep. That guy. And the third episode is? Uh, Paula Dean. All right, so let's go on to the next yeah, topic. Yeah, let's go ahead and move on. Let's move on to the next topic. Interesting. <laughs> Um. Uh. Yeah, she's there, and uh. <laughs> we were talking about this before the show, and Mike wanted to say so much. I feel like I should say something. Oh, what are you gonna say? But I was told to. Not. Oh, by what the producers? I was told by you that <sighs> uh, we shouldn't talk about it. People, I, oh, have is I that said my too much? intimidation uh, um, impression of me? That's the impression of me. Yeah, that's the basic one. That's uh, the random one. I got three versions. That's, you want that's me one to do them. you? You want me to do your impression? Uh, I mean, mm, sure. Mm, mm. What's for dinner? Nah, that's good. What's for dinner? What's for lunch? I don't know. What's for breakfast? <laughs> All right, that's okay. We're done what's, here. What's for snacks? All right, we're done here. <laughs> what's for dessert? Okay. Hilarious. What else are you watching? What else are we watching, actually? We're watching we all these are, things together. We? We're watching a couple things, actually. Lego Masters. Uh, Lego Masters. On this week's 90, episode. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. No, Lego Masters, continue. Lego Masters, on right. this week's episode, they had the Richter scale, like the Richter scale, and all of the Masters had to build a Lego building that would withstand from level 1 to 11. So it's like an earthquake. Yeah. Have you ever been in an earthquake before? Uh, Experienced one? Thankfully not. I'm going to knock on wood there. <laughs> knock on Ikea wood. No, we got this from Target. This is real stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's that maple. <laughs> maple glued together with other maple or something. I'm Too not sure. Too funny. What else uh, are you So, yeah. So, that, that happened. And I think the the engineer guy won with the Lego thing. I don't know. And why would you spoil it for people? Uh well, it's an old episode. Is so it? you should watch it. Oh go ahead and catch up, people. I don't know. I don't have time to babysit your T V time. <laughs> watch it on lunch like I do. Okay, continuing. I'm also watching Ninety Day Fiance. I love that show. Which I kinda got caught up into it during uh quarantine of twenty twenty. Do you know what I love about that show? Ninety Day Fiance? What do you like? I love how the Americans Right? The Americans. Right. Fall in love or get in a relationship with another person from like a third world country. Of course. Literally a third world country. Not all of them, but some of them are. Mm-hmm. Then they go over to the country and they're like, oh my gosh, I can't live like this. And I'm like, what did you expect? Yeah. You're doing an introduction like, oh yeah, he's from, you know, or she's from this place. And, and then, you know. All the devastating things that they go through. And then you go over to visit and you're like, wow, what is this? It's like, you shocked? It's like all the pictures are real. Can't believe this. Oh, my 
gosh. Uh, especially the dude. He's not on this series, but the dude that went to the Brazilian chick, I think. And he had to get on a plane, then a boat. Oh, then oh a, yeah. Then a South. van ride. For yeah, because like, she lived not in Brazil, but like off of in Brazil, but on an island. Like he had to take a boat right. for four days or something like that. Yeah, so that was pretty intense. Uh, they're Bruh. still together, I think. Yeah, yeah. something like that. Anyways, yeah. uh, so that's kind of cool. A couple of the guys are on there. The Russian chick you don't really like. No, no, no. no. I don't. Dislike you anybody. You don't like the way she talks. She doesn't move her teeth. Like when she talks, it's like yeah. I don't like it here. She she moves her lips. She doesn't move her teeth. So I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> please speak, right? I can't help but watch. You don't speak <laughs> like American, so I don't think it's right. Uh, so yeah, no, that's uh, not that at that's all. It's not that at all. She just seems always very tense. Like I want to tell you well, all the things I like. She's pretty angry at the dude, so she doesn't seem uh, a lot to be happy about. Uh, but I'd it's the happily ever after version, by I'd, the way. I'd be I'd be angry too. The dude believes in crazy stuff, and he's just I don't know. Right, what I'm on me, her side. What sucked me situation. into the show? Pause. Hi yo. Was last year? It was the dude with no neck. And uh, I think the Philippine chick. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's, uh, if you haven't seen that, go ahead and watch that to get you started. Uh, it's good times. <laughs> they are so, the producers on that show are very good. Big Ed, I think it's his name. Yes. Shout out to Big Ed. Good Big guy. Ed. Uh, definitely worth good the guy. watch. Good uh, guy? I don't know. He's not a good guy. I, apparently, Team female. he was kind of not cool at the end of that. Okay. Uh, we also started watching something else. Oh, Netflix. It's on Netflix. Mm -hmm. What you Netflixing? Is that a thing? I'm going to make it a thing. What you Netflixing? <laughs> How you feeling, uh, baby? I'm what you Netflixing? I'm going to let you reveal it. What Manifest. Is it? mm. It's number one in America right now. Is anyone watching this out there? It's a thriller. I think it's a... Th well, you said it's like Lost, but I've never seen Lost. Neither have I. But like the storyline kind of seems mysterious. There's no explanation to that. Yeah, plain I don't situation. Don't give it away because it. it's still new. Mm -hmm. Or is it an old remake? What no, no, it? no. It's new. Brand new. It's number one on Netflix right now. Everybody's watching. It. Oh, you mean is it? Oh, you know what I heard? I heard there's two seasons out of it, so okay. it might be so it's old, but somewhere. it's new on Netflix. Mm. So if you good show. Like I'm into it right now. I think I'm on episode four, so don't ruin that for me. Four, three. Well, you went ahead of me. You were asleep. Oh, we're gonna have to shut this all down. Well, you were sleeping, so what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I was going to wake you up. <laughs> I was going to wake you up, like, bop, bop, bop. Uh, we're trying to watch the show. What's up? Uh, but unfortunately, I let you sleep. It's a good thing. Oh, thank you. It's a good thing. Thank you. Oh, thanks. I recently did a gig. Yes. It's funny that I'm bringing you this up. You did a gig. At, at the Laughing Skull. In yeah. Atlanta. Atlanta. A lot of funny people came out. You got to go to open mics. They have open mics Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yep. And their open mics are hilarious, even when the comic's not funny. Because you're it? sitting there and you get to see all these comics develop themselves. Yeah. And work out their material. Sure. So that's cool. Well, the cool thing is that a lot of people that have experience are there, too. It's kind of like they're just trying new jokes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Weekenders. So, that so are, you get a couple of people that know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. You get the first person, uh, the person doing their first time, which sometimes can be tough to watch. I but. love how <laughs> the chick. But I want to do it. I want to do it. Oh, I'm going to sign you up. I'm sorry, what? I'm going to sign you up. Yeah, sign <laughs> me up. I love how the chick was like, I want to get off the stage right now. And I'm like, wait, we're not forcing you. <laughs> She said, uh, I won't want to run away now. Yeah, it's just like there's always situations like this when I just want to run away. And I'm like, what? What's going on? We're your yeah, friends. It wasn't a good way to end her set. But I loved it. I tried some new stuff out. Some hit. Some didn't. But I overall, think, uh, like, yeah. why, like, why are we so hard on ourselves as human beings? Uh, I think it's because I was like, know. dang, man, I mm. wanted to make them cry like I usually do. Mm. This oh. time around, they didn't cry. They did laugh. You got some good laughs. Got some good laughs. Well, you know, that's new, my life. And the new stuff, maybe you got one less chuckle than you, what you wanted. 
that's my uh, gotta... one last chuckle. That's my life. Yeah. Crazy things happen. Definitely. Like the other day when I got into some stranger's car. That's <sighs> semi-illegal, to be honest. Let me tell you what happened. It's probably not the best story to share. I was leaving to go run an errand. Why, errand? Are, you, why are you whispering? Because I still can't believe I did it. That's pretty bad. I clicked my key remote and my car was right in front of me. So I got, I was like, wait, why isn't my light going off? And I thought maybe I just missed it. You know, when you unlock your car, the light goes on for a split second. So I'm like, I guess I missed it. I opened the driver's door, sat in the driver's seat, and I thought, whoa, this is way too back. Someone adjusted my seat. Oh, I guess Mike drove my car. So let me just readjust yeah, it. Yeah, but then up. I looked, and there was like an air freshener on the AC, on the vents. Yep. And I was like, that's not mine. And then I thought, see, it's literally in this order. Oh, and then I thought, who came into my car and mm. redecorated my car? Jeez. Who decorated my car? That is the worst thing. And then I realized it's not my car. So I hopped out. This all happened within three <laughs> seconds. Three seconds. Uh, 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 uh. So Got out of the car. A criminal for three seconds. Check the license plate. You want to hear something funny? The first thing I did after I clicked my remote mm. was check the license plate. It started with the same letter as mine. So for a split second, I thought, you know, oh, it's my car. My car is right there. And I've been parking there for the past three days. There's I no forgot excuse. the no day excuse. before I no. parked somewhere else. No, no excuse. Went back, checked the license plate. It's not my car. Terrible. It's my that neighbor's car who has the exact same car as me. Yeah, but it's not. It's got it's got a different Who It's got a different Who redecorated my car? Who? Who came into my car? That's terrible. Put air fresheners. Put stuff in my cup holder. No good. Uh so yeah, the car does look different. There's a tent on that car that your car doesn't have. It's a light tent. Perfect setup for you know what? Maybe it was a mob set. hit. Mm. Like you get in the car, someone's in the back seat with the wire. Mm. <laughs> so you saved that person's life by. Holy mo! I was like, so I text my neighbor. We're good friends. I love her. Love them. And she's like, yeah, I better tell him to lock his car door. I'm like, yeah. Well, the beauty. Sorry, of, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Stop it. Yeah. yeah, he had his hood pass. My shit unlocked, baby doll. <laughs> Go ahead, pull up. My shit unlocked. My door's open. Shit. I don't have to close nothing. Oh, my God. Uh, I will say the benefit of my car, it has the auto lock. Mm -hmm. As soon as I walk away, she oh, I'm locks. sorry. You're showing off about your car right I'm now? I'm not saying anything, but I'm saying. Bro, you drive a 93 Buick. What are you but bragging about? She locks, though. <laughs> she locks. It's a fancy Buick. You don't see a lot of Buicks out there. Ah, my my stepdad liked Lincoln Town Cars growing uh, up. Well, I understand exactly what I meant. You don't Lincoln. see a lot of Buicks out there. How is Buick still in business? You know how? It's an American car company. And? We are the revolution in the auto industry because we pretty much industrialized that, don't you think, with uh, Ford and all that. So I think it's I a, it's a it's an industry that... The government has to support, etc. So the government's buying Buicks. <laughs> no, people still like Buicks. <laughs> so the cops have the Buicks. No, they, they all have, have Fords. They usually have the Ford Crown. Yeah, Deck or yeah, something. yeah, or Dodges. Yeah, that's if they take it from like a drug dealer or something. Okay. Something <laughs> that they buy. Yeah, in general, looks about loaded. I think Buicks are big in Florida for older people. Something about a Buick that appeals to the older crowd. I kind of like a Buick. All of a sudden, getting older. Let's go. No, it's Might supposed to, to be very roomy, the Buick. Yeah, but still, no one sees a Buick. Never seen one. You know what we will see? Uh, a Honda? I don't, I don't know. Our great guest. Oh, that's a nice segue. <laughs> All right. We have. Who we got? A comic. A great comic. We're about to have a really great time. Nice. Getting to know this person and having a great conversation. And he's here. Nice. Coming to the show. Mr. No, not Mr. It's Mr. He goes by J. Cole. Hey. I love Kinchi. I love, love Kinchi. I love Kinchi. I love, love 
there you go. Yeah! Oh, there you go. Woo! Salud. Woo! Buenos dias. How you doing? <laughs> Good. Hi. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, yes. perfect. Although, he, by the way, I forgot to tell you, he has a really great voice. Oh, nice. Oh, I did the pre-interview, and I was like, okay, well, let me ask you about 20,000 more questions just to listen oh, to yeah. you talk. Yeah, you kept me on the phone for a while. I was like, um, I, I think I need to do some stuff today. Uh. <laughs> I, excuse, Angela, I've got a life. <laughs> no, no, hold on, hold on. I, I have 20 more questions. Just 20 more questions, and then Just 20. Uh, we'll be done with the pre-interview, and then we'll actually do the interview. <laughs> real quick. I got a real quick question. Whenever they say quick question, it's never a quick question. Yeah, are we done? I mean, <laughs> I, got, I got stuff on the stove. <laughs> so, Mr. J. Co. Can you say hi to everybody? Hello, uh, everybody. How's it going? <laughs> it's uh, hot as balls in my room. <laughs> uh, it, it? It's it's oh. hot as balls on Earth right now. Yes. I, I just don't go out. Tell me when the season changes, and then I'll, I'll, I'll tell I'll you. But, uh... Right, 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 right. So where <laughs> are you based? What is your, um, I mean, where were you? Where are you from? Tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm from Cali, bro. I'm from Los Angeles, California. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Love Cali. Hell yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm an actual native of California. Most people from uh, Los Angeles are from out of town, but I, I was born here. Nice. Which hospital? Nice. No. <laughs> um, the Cali no, Hospital, where we were all like, I just surfed out of my mom's vagina. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. That's awesome. <laughs> right, 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 right. Thanks. <laughs> Too funny. Wait, Sick. I thought California people don't say Cali. They say like LA or. Uh, normally we don't. I was just exaggerating. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I don't say that. You're I don't almost, say that. You almost proved me right. I yeah. say Cali all the time. Yeah, if you oh, hear someone man. from from Los Angeles say Cali, they're they're probably a douchebag. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're from North Cali. <laughs> don't trust yeah. them. Fucking Don't Cali, bro. Me. Ooh, director <laughs> Russ says Jay's the best. Oh, oh hey, nice. Russell. <laughs> and that there's a guy behind you, so maybe you should. No. Oh. Don't turn around. <laughs> I actually like your background. Is this a green screen, or you just have a red carpet at home with the curtain? Uh, yeah, these are actually my curtains. Um, nice. I like to make it feel like I'm uh, super Hollywood. And nice. <laughs> I'm on the red carpet, like, all the time. Like, no. Sweet. <laughs> it's, it's part of the facade. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I need one. Let me oh, tell you. you one, we got to change all this. So let me tell you how I got to know J. Co. Mm -hmm. I did this charity event. 40 minutes. I'm doing a set up there. Sweating balls. Like just trying my best. 40 minutes. I'm like, I got to make people laugh. And people are laughing. And I'm like, oh, all right. I'm killing it. It was great. Afterwards, J. Co.'s dad pastor joey co comes over to me and goes hey you were funny my son's a comic <laughs> I, was like, I was like all right all right you can Tell learn me. something you can learn something he's like night. look up his youtube right now i was like okay <laughs> got my phone and I was, no i'm exaggerating but he was like yeah and i was like Tell me, tell me his YouTube, tell me his social media so i could look for him and i i saw it and, and then you were doing this bit about uh yeah a little bit about something and i was like oh he's funny so we gotta have him on the show so I was nice. super excited. Yeah, because, like, I reached out to him, and J. Cole was like, uh, by the way, how did, you, why, how did you reach out to How did you find me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so weird. Um, Too funny. First of all, you made my dad sound more aggressive than he really is. He's No, like, he's super su nice guy. Yeah, he's oh super my nice. God. Um... Such a nice pastor. He's so great. <laughs> Yeah, he, yeah, he never, he's never like, hey, yeah, go, go check out my son. He's, he's funny. No, he, he's never like that. I mean, he pushes like my comedy. He's like, yeah, my son, he does stand up comedy. He's like funny. And he, he's only seen me like a couple times, but <laughs> he's my biggest <laughs> promoter, you know? <laughs> nice. Papa Co. Papa oh, yeah, Co. Yeah. Papa well, my Co dad's a mu house. musician himself. So he, uh, he plays the trumpet. He writes a lot of songs. So uh, he, he knows uh -huh. about performance art and like how, how, how it is to be an artist so nice I he was that. talking about how he didn't know exactly what he was mixed with and i was <laughs> like you gotta you all i gotta say is you have some rhythm because we played some music and he was like <laughs> i'm moving i was like yeah 
Yeah, I, I think that that twenty three and me really screwed him up because so, he's he's uh he's half black and half Korean, and then he um he probably did twenty three and me, and there's like, whoa, there's so many more. <laughs> <laughs> like, nice. Where what percentage is this? So is that what you're mixed with? Just half black, half Korean? Uh, no, I'm um uh, my dad is half black and half Korean, and my mom is Filipino. You know, uh -huh. they're they're kind of like Tiger Woods' parents, just disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. That's too funny. So you're Most, from mostly California. because mostly because I chose comedy over golf, really. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you play golf at all? No, no, my they they try to push it on me. They were like, uh, "You don't even want to try it out for a second? And I was like, "No, I want to tell jokes to strangers. That's what I want to do in life." <laughs> nice. They're like for a living, because you could still have a personality. <laughs> you don't have to do it as a job. So why comedy? Uh, Jay, um, why did you pick comedy? What, yeah, what led you to comedy? Yeah. Well, when, you know, when I was a kid, I, I used to watch, well, my, my parents used to watch a lot of comedy movies. Uh, they, they would watch like Police Academy and um, like a bunch of comedies from the, mo uh, from the eighties. And my mom was the, like, she would watch stand up a lot. And I remember she watched um, Sinbad once and I, I watched her, I watched uh, Sinbad with her and I thought he was like the funniest. Uh, I thought that was the funniest thing. And I, I, mean, I thought that he just made all of that stuff up on the spot. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. You know, and like, and then, you know, you find out that you could do that as a job. And then um, I think I was a kid and I told my mom, I was like, I want to, I want to do that. I want to be a comedian. And then uh, I was a little kid and then she goes, okay, tell me a joke. And then I was a little kid. I didn't have any jokes. And then she was like, well, maybe you need to work on <laughs> <laughs> Getting some jokes in there. Put you on the spot immediately. Yeah, Tell me yeah. something funny. Like, now. Yeah. It was like, uh, all right, let's 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 hear it. Come on. Showbiz is waiting for you, kid. <laughs> right, right. Well, it would have been awkward if you were like, well, you know, I got this. I got this. Just cranking my neck, which is my mom. <laughs> She's like, hold on, this is not. <laughs> it, it, it'd be weird if I told her a bunch of like dirty, like Eddie Murphy raw jokes. <laughs> like you're four. What the fuck? She's like, I, I learned it on the TV, mama. <laughs> you said say a joke. Can't stand my mom. Let me tell you about my mom. <laughs> Police Academy is a classic. Love oh, Police yeah, Academy. I, I, kinda... I love it. You know what's hilarious? The one scene in Police Academy that I was like, I kind of want to try that one day is uh, it's one word, sunblock. The <laughs> sunblock scene. Oh yeah, that's yeah. Just... <laughs> where they, where they put Dork on his chest. <laughs> in sunblock, and he just because he's sleeping, and then he ends up with the word sunblock. Ah, okay. So many good parts in them. I remember, that's classic. In that series. To do with the voices, that's kind of the best one there. Oh, yeah, the Michael Winslow? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Classic. He's fantastic. He was also in uh, Spaceballs. That was yes. really exciting to see him there. Yeah, he had that movie. one scene where he just... <laughs> <laughs> nice. Th those were his actual lines. <laughs> so, that's it. You got to check, though. Yeah, yeah. Got to check. <laughs> How did they write that part in the script? Just they said, boom, uh, make boom, noises. Beep, beep. It says... <laughs> Michael Winslow, please make noises. And he's like, sure thing. <laughs> Speaking of a comedy and doing shows, how was quarantine for you? Because a lot of comics just, nobody w was able to gather. Uh, quarantine was great. Um, I, <laughs> <What's> great? <laughs> I had a lot of depression. It was fantastic. It was Sweet. Chill. <laughs> Out here in Cali, we're just like, you know, it's like, we just stay home, you know? <laughs> Netflix and chill, chill. <laughs> a lot of chilling, for sure. I definitely did it. Uh, I did a lot of Zoom funny. shows during the, the quarantine. I did a, a lot of Zoom shows. Uh, how'd you get started in that? Nice. Um, well, uh, I actually did a lot of, like, De Dat Fan, uh, he produces a lot of Zoom shows. And he, oh. he asked me to, to join a lot of them. And um, I was just doing a lot of Dat Fan's uh, Zoom shows. And then from there, I would uh, meet a bunch of people and they would ask me to be on their Zoom shows. So like, I was just kind of like networking within all this, like this Zoom community. And I was doing a bunch of like Zoom shows from there. And uh, it, was, it was nice, you know, it was, a, 
it was a, it was a good way to kind of like practice and and you know work on your jokes um because i mean we couldn't do anything at the time so yes yeah but it was kind of it was a little weird because you know you're at first you're you're you realize you're performing for your computer screen and <laughs> you're like wow this is this is a little awkward um but you know after a while it's it's kind of the same like you go to an open mic and you know you don't get any reactions and uh, <laughs> it's pretty much the same your computer gives you no reactions and <laughs> like uh, it's exactly the same like i feel i f i still feel like shit so you know that's <laughs> nice <laughs> well at least you can do it like with no pants on because you're just at home <laughs> yeah that was the that was the number one joke i've heard on zoom like oh, yeah. hey, i'm doing comedy no pants no pants on here like look yeah. ma Prove it. <laughs> no yeah. no i'm not i'm not wearing pants You're like i get it okay yeah, yeah we got it yeah yeah the the last 30 comedians told that joke in the last like 30 zoom shows but no 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 yeah. this is different because i'm not wearing pants <laughs> <laughs> i you know when i do jokes i swear there's a lot of people who who i don't like they can't copy me and I can't copy them because just like you, we're mixed. Yes. So we do a lot of mixed jokes. You get up on stage and you're talking about, I mean, how was the experience growing up being mixed as a kid and being a funny kid and all that? Um, yeah, it was fantastic. I was alienated. Uh, I'd never fit in anywhere. It's, it was great. <laughs> no, it was, uh, it was, um, it's weird. Cause I, I'm a, I'm a weird, uh, I'm a weird mixture, you know, black, Korean and Filipino. Um, but I look Latino, you know, like I, I get I was getting mistaken for Latino like all the time. Like uh, the time I got deported, I was like, <laughs> <"That's not cool." laughs> that wasn't cool. I was like, where are you guys taking me? And they were like, we're taking you home. And I was oh, like, shit. Burbank? <laughs> <laughs> You've gone too far. This is way too south. This is yeah. not my spot. Uh, my stop Burbank. was like two stops ago. Like, shut up. <laughs> Well, it's your fault. You were in front of a Home Depot. I did think that when I first saw you. I was like, oh, he's Spanish. Yeah, I, I get that a lot. <laughs> um, I get people who assume that I can speak Spanish, um, right. which I can't, you know. And uh, <laughs> when <laughs> when I was a kid, that's why I got put in ESL class for a day. You know, like English <laughs> is a second language. You know, when I was a kid, I was kind of quiet. And uh, when they, they when people would talk to me, I would just smile and nod like <laughs> and, you know, I was brown. So they made an assumption and they put me in ESL class for a day. Wow. And man, I got to tell you, I I kicked so much ass in ESL. Like I was <laughs> really, really good in ESL <laughs> class. Like it was, it was amazing. Like I think as far it. as like subjects go, I think ESL was my best subject. <laughs> <laughs> She was like, yeah, Jay, uh, you had the answer. Yeah, I was like, Again. yeah, that's that's an apple, that's a banana, and that's a gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> Killing it. Yeah, and they were like, wow, this kid's really picking up this English stuff real quick, you know? <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely moving along. Yeah, they, they thought they were dope teachers, you know? Like, <laughs> like I'm a... I'm a scholar. I've like, got scholar. Dude, we're <laughs> such great teachers. Look at this kid, bro. <laughs> I got this one student. He's really doing it. He's really getting it. He's Look, really sticking. He's, uh, he looked, you know, he didn't speak at a word of English, but, you know, like a couple hours in this ESL class, and look at him. He's, like, talking <laughs> English. Like He's, he's reading. <laughs> he's, like, he's, he's amazing. Like, they thought, <laughs> they thought I was great. Um, and then I, you know, I told my mom that day, I was like, hey, they put me in ESL class today. And uh, she was like, uh, you already know how to speak English. And I said, yeah, now, duh. <laughs> <laughs> I got it now. Thanks, Listen, mom. mom. <laughs> Goodness. I'm dope so, now. Like, <laughs> You mentioned that you saw Sinbad um, doing stand up, but what other comedians do you look up to? Um. When or looked up to. Mm -hmm. I well, I, I watched Eddie Murphy when I was a kid. Um, oh, I love Eddie Murphy. Yeah, when uh -huh. I when I started doing comedy, I I started watching like uh, Richard Pryor and George Carlin. Um, nice. And then uh, like Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle's like my favorite. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, Dave yeah. yeah. Um, Janine Garofalo, I love. Uh, I love uh, like a lot of like Mark Maron, Patton Oswalt um just a, a bunch of there's there's just so many comedians like david spade uh i don't know i just i you know i find uh, a lot of comedians funny 
you know, so I, I like to watch a lot of comedy. Nice. The, yeah, yeah, it's great. You have you seen that um post? It was like I think in the beginning of quarantine, and Pat Oswald came out on his yard with a mic. He's like, "Hey," <laughs> and it was just like his kid in the front yard, just like you suck. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you suck. That's the Ratatouille kid, right? It's the Ratatouille guy. Yeah, yeah, Pat he voice yeah. Remy. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyone can cook. That is too also funny. Classic. Do Anyone your parents cool. do your parents find you funny now when you tell them jokes? Do you tell them your jokes? I don't think so. No, they don't find <laughs> me funny at all. <laughs> parents usually don't. They don't find us funny for and it's, but they have a lot of suggestions. It's weird. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's because uh, your your parents see you as this little kid, you know, and they yeah. they don't really see you as like a, a peer. <laughs> oh. Sorry about that. Oh, What's no worries. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Don't see you as a peer. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. So um, I remember the first uh, show that my my parents came to see me do stand-up. And, like, uh, I was I was, I did well. I did very well. And then after the show, my mom, uh, came, she said, well, everyone else was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks. I was like, that's not what I want to hear, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> it would it would Anything else? i don't know what would be better though let's say they're the only ones laughing just because they're your parents you're like wait are you do you understand what i'm saying do you actually understand my jokes <laughs> like are you just and everybody's like quiet yeah that, oh my that's, god I can never that's also another to thing them. you know uh -huh. like you don't want to be the the one that's killing your parents you know like you, oh wow i'm making my parents like <laughs> die laughing and then everyone is like i don't get it i don't understand what his <laughs> jokes they're not as funny it's like yeah but my parents get it you just don't get it <laughs> <laughs> too funny so you were talking about shows do you have any shows coming up or any big events now that things are opening back up finally finally kind of yeah i have a i have a couple shows lined up um i'm doing a show on the 29th at flappers nice um, in the yoohoo room uh-huh oh yoohoo you, uh, <laughs> come to the yoohoo room. It's not what you think. <laughs> we telling jokes comedy. Here. <laughs> oh goodness! And you were booked um for the Burbank Comedy Festival in August. Yes, nice. I'm, I'm for doing three the Burbank, shows. Yeah, three three shows in August. Uh, I think the Burbank Comedy Festival starts on August eighth, and I think it lasts all the way till the twenty first. And I'm booked on three three shows. One's virtual, and then the two are live in person. Nice. We got to go. We're going to oh, go yeah, see you. Oh, yeah, definitely. Come yeah. out. So, yeah, we're going to yeah, go see you. We have time. We can go. We can start walking now. We'll yeah, be, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll yeah, be those people. Tickets. Yeah, we'll be those people who get the tickets, like, in person and be like, we're here to see J. Cole. <laughs> J. Cole make us. Uh, who that? <laughs> who that? Who that? <laughs> I know the guy. And then I'll pull out your headshot and be this guy. We're here to buy his tickets. <laughs> I don't know who that, that is. I, I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me a damn money. <laughs> I'm getting paid $6 an hour to do this shit. Oh, my God. Give me you're, a goddamn uh, you're money. You're dramatically underpaid. <laughs> Minimum <laughs> wage is $15 now. <laughs> Finally, they bumped it up, huh? Yeah. Officially. You're $6 an hour. You're, you're, you're drastically underpaying you. Yeah. It's you're a paid talk. internship. <laughs> That's under the table Ooh. at that point. Yeah, talk to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have any other programs that you're a part of that you do regularly that you want to yeah, tell I, us about? Mm -hmm. I'm uh, a part of this uh, podcast. Uh, I do um, a, a weekly podcast uh, with my buddies, Sean Cantley and uh, Juan Ledesma. Um, we, it's called I'm Not Crying, You're Crying. Um, and it's just a, a podcast where uh, the three of us kind of shoot the shit as friends. And, you know, we talk about... Uh, different topics and it's a lot of fun and um, you should take a listen to it and if you can it's it's really funny is there anything that you guys talk about that's like off limits You're like hey don't mention this don't mention that well it wouldn't uh, be off limits no i mean uh we we talk about each other's mothers a lot and <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice <laughs> so it's, it's that kind of show where we're just kind of like uh making fun of each other um uh, but talking about hard hitting topics of today, uh -huh. you know, like no, uh -huh, uh -huh. no, it's, but like, it, it's hey, fun. Did you, it, it's mm -hmm. a lot of fun, you know. 
You're like, hey, can you, what'd you do yesterday? Your mama? Okay. Uh, you know yeah, what? This that is, is uh, pretty much a staple of our humor. <laughs> like, uh, we've uh, done each other's mothers, and <laughs> it's in graphic detail that we explain it. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Man, don't say that about my mama. <laughs> <laughs> We're cool. We're not that cool, though. I had to, I, Mike hated me when he first met me because I, I'm sorry, I was like, let me explain. <laughs> oh no, when we, the when truth we is first, coming out. <laughs> right? When we first met, we would be in the car and I just do a lot of stupid shit. And he'll say something like, oh, hey, that he wouldn't say this, but let's say, for example, he's like, oh, that tree is pretty. I'm like, your mama's pretty. And he's like, oh, you know, though, your mama sets you off. <laughs> it does. <laughs> oh, it does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She, she is does. pretty. If you She's start pretty. anything with your mama, you know, these hands, mama. you're going to get these hands. <laughs> Yo mama now, has never followed up with a compliment. <laughs> right? And then now it's just, yeah. Yeah, so that's what I started doing. And then now, just whatever I say, yo mama or not, he's like, you stupid. <laughs> Pass me Maybe the you should you change stupid. it up to your, your mother. Your mother is very pretty. Uh, yeah, Madre. I can respect that one. Yeah. I like that one. That's yo mama. Better. Yo mama's so pretty. That, <laughs> like... <laughs> She's got the vibes of your mama, but it's your mother. I feel you. I like yeah. it. Your mama's like so it. pretty. She could be a model. Yeah, mm. boom. You got owned, oh. bitch. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Ah. So uh, have you. Cool. <laughs> so what clubs do you frequent doing your open mics? Now that they're starting to open back up over there? Because they're kind of opening back up here in Atlanta. So. Well, this is Atlanta. Yeah, but how's oh, California? The ATL. Uh, California's uh, good. There's so many comics in L.A. Mm -hmm. Um. I before the pandemic, I, w I was doing a lot of shows at the the Ice House, um, uh -huh. at Flappers Flappers Comedy Club. Uh, but the bigger clubs are are kind of harder to get into uh, because there's there's bigger name comics that are just performing there and dropping in. So you have to kind of get in with the club and then be regulars. Um, but if you want to work on your stuff, there's a bunch of like dive bars and open mics and like little coffee shops that you can just kind of go to and um, just tell jokes and right. just kind of work on your stuff and work on being on stage in front of people and, uh, you know, just getting better, you know, like I, I honestly love the open mics where they're just kind of shitty and, you know, you just tell jokes and nobody laughs, you know, cause it just kind of makes you thick skinned to where you go to like a, a show with regular people and you just say the jokes and they're funny and they, you know, they laugh and you have this, like this, uh, this stage presence where, you know, like you, you don't care if you bomb, you know, right. Uh -huh, right. Uh -huh. yeah. Gotta, gotta develop that. Right. Yeah. That, I think that's, that's what was great about zoom, you know, cause I felt like I was bombing every time I was doing a zoom show. So I was like, I didn't, I didn't care anymore. And then <laughs> I started doing like live open mics and I was like, well, it's not as bad as Zoom, you know? <laughs> so, right. Could be worse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. I feel as though maybe when you go to open mics, it's more tempting to try new stuff every time. And it's just one of those platforms where you go on stage and you try all these new things and you have to, like you said, ha have that, thick skin because I forgot who said it. It was a famous comedian. He said, I don't mind if they're quiet because that means that they're listening. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So either they're laughing or listening. So, yeah. yeah. Do you feel like you, what kind of comedy? Do you do observational comedy? Do you do political comedy? What do you, what's your go-to? Um, I do, I do observations and I tell a couple stories, you know, like if there's something happening that I just want to talk about, like a story, I'll, I'll try to throw that in there. Um, and then I do a couple, I do observations. I obviously do jokes about my being mixed race, um, uh -huh. and stuff like that. But most of my comedy and most of my jokes are like from my life and just talking about, you know, things that happened to me and how I react to it, you know? Nice. It's so much material being mixed. Oh, we just yeah, get yeah. a lot of, cause the adults have already fucked you up by you being born. So <laughs> it's kind of like, oh, yeah, yep, yeah. let me start gathering it all up. Yeah, you think like, this is normal, and then you go into the world and it's like, wait, I'm, I'm not like everybody. I'm not normal. <laughs> <laughs> and then you bond with other kids. It's usually non-white white kids because if you're not white, you all get your ass kicked. So you just bond over war stories of getting your ass kicked because you're a bad kid. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think I bonded most with like Mexicans because they thought I was Mexican. So <laughs> it was just an easier transition. Um, but I mean, I didn't, I never spoke Spanish to them, but they were just like, yeah, you look it, you look more Mexican than anything, you know? Basically, um, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mike's Mexican. Uh, oh, yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Hey, como estas? Uh, oh, bien, yeah. too? <laughs> oh, there you go. So you See, got some Spanish because you're Mexican. You're Stop Cali. fucking lying. You're not mixed. Well, There's no such thing as <laughs> Korean, Black, and Filipino. It's all part of that Hollywood life, baby. <laughs> you're Latino. Fuck out of here. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to build a brand. I'm trying to build a brand. <laughs> nice. It's too funny. No, everybody thought in New York, they thought uh, they all thought I was Colombian. Because Colombians, there's very pale Colombians, and then there's really dark Colombians. There's like a whole spectrum. Like, mm -hmm. Colombiano? And I'm like, nah, bro, I'm half Korean. And half. And then you explain that to them, and they're like, okay, uh, como se dice? Like, I'm like, yo, I just told you I'm not Spanish, and I, you're still asking me for directions, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. What kind of food did you eat growing up in the house? It, household? Was it usually Korean? Was it Filipino? Um, it was it was mostly Filipino food. My mom was the cook in the house. My dad cannot cook uh, for shit. Like one time he threw like fish, chicken and pork in a pot. And he was like, watch this. And I was like, yeah, watch, <laughs> watch everyone throw up. That's disgusting. Like, <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot of protein. No yeah, seasoning, <laughs> just all at once. He was like, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys uh, something special. And I was like, uh, it sounds like diarrhea, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's, like, that's, that's some sort of gumbo there. I don't know. Spicy. Oh Why is it so spicy? God. Can we can we throw it out now? Because <laughs> that sounds gross. <laughs> don't let it die in the fridge. Can we just throw it out? It's, that's too much. What is the best part about comedy for you? Mm. You know what? I um I like I like going on stage and getting all that attention uh, when I get it. Um, like great, good shows are, are fantastic. Uh, bad shows are a learning experience. Uh, but I, I do like the community of uh, comedians because you meet a lot of different people, and a lot of them are very nice. You know, um, they're, they're they have different perspectives on on life, and you know, it's nice to talk to a, a bunch of like people with uh, different views on life. And and I always like talking comedy. So like talking comedy with comedians, it's like, it's one of my favorite things, you know? Let me give you some constructive criticism. This oh. is, I can't take this anymore. Oh, wow. Oh, God. Is it my hair? Oh. Jay, Jay, <laughs> you need to have a better attitude about stuff, okay? Oh, shit. Your attitude is just, I mean, you're just complimenting. You need to just stop being oh, man. so freaking rude and mean i that's the first thing i thought no. when i started talking to him i was like wow this guy's a fucking asshole what <laughs> <laughs> i know i get that a lot you know i think it's my glasses and maybe the t-shirts that i wear is just i just come up as like a douche <laughs> why is he so polite damn it no no no, no. <laughs> Don't like let me that. let me talk about you while you're in front of us but you're very <laughs> nice you have great energy and i love how to be honest you have a very calming energy you know, usually like some comics are up there and they're freaking crazy, you know, which is great. Love yeah. it. Right. But you're just like very like you're telling us things. And then that's how you kind of do the backhand. Right. So I feel like that's that's my gift, too. Like I go up there and I'm not sometimes I'm crazy, but then I'm just telling them a story. And first of all, they don't know what to expect because they don't know what race you are. So yeah. they're already trying to figure that out when you get up on stage and then you hit them with the punchlines and they're like, whoa, where is this person? from like what is going on here what yeah i know um i i feel like it's it's my cali vibe you know it's like it's so chill out here that you know like that's how i look at things like, bro it's just you know just chill out you know and then just tell your jokes like yeah it's like oh this is funny and like <laughs> he's pretty okay you know what fuck it i'll yeah. meet him backstage yeah <laughs> like, <laughs> <"Come on." laughs> how is dating by the way i know that like a lot of uh so I did this bit. I'm going to tell you on my last show mm. because I'm not going to do it again. Why not? I came out. The first thing I did was I had a Lysol wipe and I wiped the mic. And I told yeah. everybody it is not because of COVID. It's just everybody's making up for lost time. So they're probably fucking everything in sight. Thank you. <laughs> so, 
how is dating for you? Are you single? Are you out there? I mean, during quarantine, you can't even do Tinder. Like, how is that for you? Uh, yeah, I'm single right now. Um, dating is... I'm uh, ready to mingle. Oh, yeah, what? girl. Let's get it. <laughs> let's do it. Yeah, yeah, let's get that push out there. <laughs> <laughs> let's get it. Get that kitty cat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Excellent. during quarantine, it was, it was, it was kind of hard to like uh see anybody you know i was like because i was i was terrified of of covid you know like i was um yeah. i would hear the stories on on tv and uh and i felt like i feel like i'm the type of guy that covid looks at and goes i'm gonna kill this motherfucker you know like <laughs> oh, shit. like i just i just felt like if i went out there and uh covid was like hey hey partner let, let me holler at you for a second let me holler at you for a second Take off your mask. Let me breathe in your mouth. Uh, like COVID's <laughs> lap. <laughs> like, no, no, nah, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I what size like shoe you, like you that, wear? COVID? <laughs> what, size, what size shoe you wear, man? Yeah, what size yeah. is that? Uh, no, yeah, no, no, so, no, I'm good, sir. <laughs> so I was, I, was just, you I was afraid to kind of like go out and like uh, talk to people. So I was just, I was in uh, my little bubble and I, I was just waiting it out. You know, like I was fine with Zoom shows and and you know playing video games and netflix so Bingo. nice yeah yeah it's, it's kind of like and then if you meet someone virtually and you like them you're like okay well i'll see you in two weeks <laughs> yeah yeah uh, i get vaccinated in on the on the seventh so uh <laughs> what are you doing like two weeks from now or if it's moderna it's 28 days what yeah you, yeah girl yeah. what you is it what you doing 28 days from mm. today, yesterday? Uh, you want to hook up on the uh, 18th? Uh... <laughs> so what do you do when you meet someone, mm. let's say like a love potential, and they're like, so what do you do for a living? You're like, I'm a comic. I... <laughs> so like, oh, you funny. <laughs> cool, but bro. Cool. Don't make me into a joke now. I yeah, was... don't make, they, everybody tells me that. Don't do make they a joke about me. Don't talk about this. Either they'll say, Hey, I got a funny thing to tell you. You can use it. Huh. Or they'll say, Don't don't talk about this. Don't make fun. Don't mentor me on stage. It's like I, what? Well, I get I get that. They're like people were like, uh, oh, do you do you tell jokes about me? And then, you know, I have to tell them, no one knows who you are. Like, why am I gonna <laughs> tell jokes about a, a stranger that nobody knows about? Then I have to do all this explaining, and then it right. just makes me look stupid. Like I, like people are so so self-absorbed they're like oh i bet he talks about me on stage no no i don't <laughs> not at all actually it's hard actually, to come up no. with material and then you know like to try to come up with material with one specific person ah, it's like this it's just too much to explain i was like i don't think they're invested anymore after i explain no no no. he's it, it, he's like this that that's how this this is how she is you know and, and believe me that that's how it is you know and then you're like the audience is like Go to the next joke. <laughs> yeah. Especially your open mic. Angela had like four minutes. I talk about, yeah, don't you love those, by the way? You have two minutes. To, oh, <laughs> you're yeah, like, wait, what? Okay, oh, let thanks. me go through my Rolodex. What inspires your jokes? Like, how do you come up with material? I talk about my mom a lot because she can't understand English. She doesn't understand English. Mm -hmm. So I shit on her a lot. Why are you hating <laughs> so, on your mom? I'm not hating on her. She wants me to get a check. She wants me to do this because yeah. she wants a check. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I wish it okay. was a bad she thing. Wants, she, she wants the, the residuals from... Uh, <laughs> right, right, right. I made you. I made you. Where's my check? You have your manager that gets 10%. You got your mom who gets 50. It's like, what? Hold on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you come up with your material? Uh, I don't know. Like, stuff will happen, and then I, I think it's funny. And then uh, I'll see if I can translate it on stage. And um, I'll just kind of, like, talk about it like on stage and then see if something funny happens. And then if it, if something, I say something funny, I'll kind of write it down and then try to add it to the, to the material or to the chunk of jokes that, you know, I write, so. And then do you have it like a playlist in your head? Like, okay, I'm gonna hit them with this, 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 this. Do you do that? Cause... Uh, before I go on stage, I'll, uh, I'll map out like a, like a set list. I'll put a bunch of topics that I wanna, I wanna hit. And then uh, um, I'll try to get to them, but I like to kind of riff and and improvise a lot up front, and then um, and then I'll go into my material. Uh, but sometimes I, I'll, I'll riff too much, and then I I won't get into the jokes that I want to get to. <laughs> it's, only, it's only five minutes. I, I don't have enough time. <laughs> oh man! So then that's why when we were doing the set, when I was doing the charity event, 
And she was like, just do what you want to do. I was like, this is fantastic. Like, this is what I feel like makes me like fly. Cause I'm like, oh, oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no limitation. Well, it was a, it was a charity event. So obviously I couldn't get too crazy. Yeah. But then the whole time I was like, y your dad was sitting right there, the pastor. And I think I apologized to him at least like six, seven times throughout the set. I was like, I tried. I'm sorry. And that I tried. was the clean version. <laughs> yeah. And that was the clean version. <laughs> and he's like, no, no, your dad's so nice. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. My son's a comic. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. Like, you should oh. hear the things he says. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Still, still plugging you mid, <laughs> mid show. Too. Oh yeah, no, it's okay. My son's a comic, by the way. My so dad, you... my dad plugs all his kids, like all all four of us. He's like, oh my uh, my son, he he plays the he plays he does music, he does videos, and my other son does comedy, and my daughter <laughs> she she sings, and you know, so like oh, always... your sister sings. Uh, she try. Well, she's a lawyer. She doesn't have time to sing. So <laughs> he says she tries. <laughs> she, well, she's she's a good singer when she wants to sing, but there you go. Uh, she just doesn't want to make it a profession, you know? Mm. Some people just like doing yeah. it, period. Yeah, yeah, she just, she, lo she loves doing it. My other sister, uh, she can play the piano and um, we're all like mu musically inclined, except for me, I do the jokes. Uh, I tried the piano, it didn't work out. Um, <laughs> I just didn't, <laughs> I just couldn't commit to it. I couldn't commit to the piano, so. <laughs> Definitely a lot of time to really get into the piano. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you were saying that you are a huge Dave Chappelle fan. Yeah. So yeah. we have, a tr by the way, all the things that you mentioned, the podcast, I'm not crying, you're crying, the Burbank Comedy Festival. Um, we're going to put that all in the links and you guys have to go check Mr. J. Co. out. So we have a, a trivia question, one question. And you're then you gonna, spin the wheel. Yes, you're going to spin the wheel. But you're going to have like, I want to say four seconds to answer this question. Four seconds. About Dave Chappelle. Okay. okay. You kinda you, I'm kind of building idea. it up, Mike. I'm building uh, it up, build up, guys. Okay, okay. <laughs> now I'm you scared. Four seconds to, <laughs> to answer this question about Dave Chappelle. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Oh yes. wait, do you want to And when you when you Do you want to see wheel. the prizes first? Do you want to see what you're you're playing for? Oh, uh, now she's really building. <laughs> now I'm really building it up. Here's the prizes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look. Where? Okay. So we got the mystery box. Ooh, that's scary. Okay. <laughs> it's a solid one. It's a solid one. Then you get a handshake. Mm. You okay. could win a handshake. Oh, awesome. Yeah, we're, we're going to fly to Cali for that one. Yeah. <laughs> Or you'll fly here. That's that's your dime. <laughs> <laughs> Tickets for Netflix movie. So we're mm. not giving you anything. We're just gonna tell you what to watch on Netflix, and you have to. Uh, you want a full report? report. <laughs> yeah, full report. It has to be twenty five hundred words. We were giving out their pa our password. Why do you keep saying that we'll every give you show? Our password for twenty four. No, we're not, because we're using our cousin's Netflix. He's oh, so well, crazy. He <laughs> Fifty dollars, Angela the comic bucks. So you know when we go public, this is a very humble show. We're yeah, not. It's it's worth everything. We've got right a very now. tight budget, which is zero. So oh, that. Wow. Then, <laughs> I mean, oh, we you, get you guys look like you're a high class production. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> was like, yeah, so I expect that check. Thank you. That question's <laughs> still gonna be tough. So thank you for buttering us up. But it ain't gonna get you nowhere. It'll you know? also uh -huh. get you merch. <laughs> It'll also get you merch whenever we, that happens. Yeah, whenever that happens. <laughs> gift card, ten dollars Starbucks gift card. Oh, solid. shut up. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> solid. Well, hit me with the shut up. God, <laughs> J. Coke. You know, can I tell you? I I would be dying to see you like do a female character that a cracks female character. <laughs> oh my god i'm sorry that just cracks me up every time when <laughs> a dude thinks he knows what women go through and okay all right move on next one high five you can win a high five. Oh, dope sanitized 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 spray and gel you can win a cartoon by mike yes it'll oh, be an sweet. awesome cartoon uh, a hug a I hug I, you can I, win a hug from both of you? From from Mike. Uh threesome hug. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I mean that's <laughs> sexy. I <laughs> haven't thought of that, but now it's the only thing. It's I gonna can be think one about. of those awkward hugs where it's like you move back and just the arms are bring like it's a shoulder hug. Ooh, you're just bringing I... it in, but the chest is not you touching just, you. You're describing a Can hug I take now? my shirt off for this hug? 
Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> I would like no. It. No, I would you like can't. It. no, you can't. No, you can't. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? If I'm doing a hug, we're cool. Hundred dollars and the comic books again. Oh, this is... well, I, <laughs> I might get you. I might get you a hat. Anything. Might get a hat. Might get a hat. Sweatshirt. Those mugs are in transit. They're probably going mm. for seventy dollars each. So. Yeah. Oh, what? Well, one cup. Gift card. Ten dollars. <laughs> where, <laughs> where can I redeem them at? Uh, uh, no yeah. stories participating. Uh, it it no, will be or... pending. It will be pending. <laughs> <laughs> we got you. We got, we got you, you in the future. It's gonna happen. It does take 14 years to be an overnight success, so maybe. In... Uh, hopefully, it's not 14 years for merch. 13. We've got one year under our belt. Um, okay. COVID so gives you credit. <laughs> there's a and there's then, a waiting period. <laughs> Ten dollar Amazon gift card. Nice. Oh what? And then solid. we're back to box. Anything that interests you here? Any of sir? those? What, Any of those? Which one's talking to you? Which oh, one is I, like, yo? Honestly, I want to see that cartoon. Oh, oh shit! No! <laughs> this is the second cartoon <laughs> request. Oh, too funny. Uh, Mike's like, I can't do any more work on this show. I fucking do the I'm video, actually, audio, uh, everything. No I mean, worries. who doesn't I'm... like a cartoon? I mean, Bingo. fuck all that money shit. I want to see a cartoon. <laughs> he wa He wants to do a freaking. He want. He, he wants me to give him a performance review every day. I don't. I'm like. Well, you, you get know. a raise of four percent from zero. Like, what do you want? From right now, me? I'm working on <laughs> Will's cartoon, which he won. I think in a third episode. It's a drummer. He, he wants him as Tiger King. Ooh. <laughs> like his face on it. He's working on it. So, it's, if you follow Mike and you see his stories, there's some progress. Good stuff. Uh, but anyways, that is the prizes. All right. You ready for the question? Are you We're ready running for out the of time. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> so we? great. Oof. Okay. All go. right. How? And you have four seconds. Oh, my gosh. The suspense. Not... I'm a woman. I was born with the. Okay. How do you spell Chappelle? Go. C-H-A-P-E-L-L-E. Uh, Oh my gosh, he got it, he got it. Oh, I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready. Uh, it's all that ESL class, you know, like I'm yeah. spelling Back. too, Back. so. Back. Last yeah. week, last week we had Jordana Dale, the uh -huh. photographer, and her question was, what is the color of Mike's shirt? And she was like, what? Wait a second. She got it right. <laughs> She kind of got it right. She kind of got it right. All right. <laughs> let's spin oh, the wheel. Uh, spin the wheel. Let us spin the wheel. I will wheel. hold it. You can spin it. A cartoon by Mike is oh, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so oh, it's up okay. close. You know, just so people know we're not cheating. All right. Why would we cheat? I, I don't know. It's our show. Who's who's moderating us? Then? All right. Okay. The ready? wheel. Are you yeah, ready to spin? Oh, wait. You have to spin it, though, with your hand. Uh, One. This way, right? This way, this way. Okay, two. you ready? Yeah, yeah, this is, this is weird. Three. One, two, three. <laughs> oh! oh, you got a snap. cartoon by Mike. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got more work. Yay. <laughs> Yay. You know what, though, Mike? It's going to be great for your performance review. Uh, I'm hoping I get a raise this year. Maybe a dollar. If you make this cartoon, I'll, I'll put it up on my, my social media page. Of Hell course. yeah, that's what I want. Really. This is a realistic cartoon, want. though. It's kind of it's funny because it's uh, like I'm literally starting, your face. I'm thinking of switching it up. Like I don't know, like it's a, like a like photo. A, <laughs> it's like a photo. I want to do like a Rugrat version of okay. somebody. Oh, look at him! He's already getting inspired. Uh, but yeah, so you want? Yeah, it could be this weird too? ethnic Chucky. <laughs> <laughs> ethnic Chucky. That might be that might be it. That's so funny. <laughs> Thank you so much for being on the show, J. Co. And tell everybody where they can find you. And I'm gonna put all the links to everything, the podcast, everything in oh, the yeah. description of this video. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me. Um yeah, I'm on in Instagram, Facebook, and uh uh Twitter, but I don't really use Twitter. Um and you can find some clips of me on YouTube. And I'll be at the Burbank Comedy Festival in August, and there's a couple shows that I'm doing in july so check me out and uh i also july or august uh, july oh you mean shows in july not at the festival yeah not at the festival and uh and then i'm on uh, the podcast i'm not crying you're crying with uh my friend sean cantley and juan ledesma and it's a good time had by oh. all so all right and they can find you at 
J A Y. J A Y underscore K zero seven seven on Instagram. Um, and then from there, nice. The, nice. the links will the links will be there if you want to find anything else. So yes, in the bio. Yeah, in, in my in the my bio. bio. Hold up, are you playing us out right now? This is not the Oscars. Are you yeah. playing me out right now? You, you started <laughs> clapping all by yourself. Oh so my goodness, you clapping. <laughs> Uh, but the podcast, you can find it anywhere, I'm assuming. Yeah, Spotify. Uh, Spotify, Apple, um, any, anywhere you can find um, podcasts, uh, we're on there. So, Awesome. Thank you so things. much for being on the show. And we'll see you in August. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll be there. Um, yeah, yeah, we don't play around. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll get going. that uh, handshake. And, um... <laughs> uh, no, you didn't win that, sir. Sir, sir, you didn't win that. You but won the cartoon. That's, that's what you're getting. That's pulse extra, man. Oh, pulse extra. I have to pay for a handshake? <laughs> oh, because I feel like your handshakes won't be innocent. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do yeah. fist, fist pounds. I do fist pounds. Hi, oh, yeah. yeah, pounding. Fist pound me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll see you in August. Yay. That's okay, yeah, fun. yeah. You have to tell us which dates so then we can start advertising. Yeah, yeah. I'll, 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 say, I'll shoot you an email or something. Awesome. Well, you have my phone number. You can hit me up. Nice. Text message. Anything you need, bro. I'm right here. Got oh. you. Yeah, girl. Right <laughs> Get it. It's my bro. It's my bro. <laughs> I'll see you. Thank you so much, Jay. Thank All right. You. Thanks for having me. It was fun. I love Kichi. I love, love Kichi. I love, love Kichi. I love, love Kichi. That was fantastic. I told you it was great. Very nice. He's really, really great. Our first comic on the show. That's a good one. Oh, man. This is really, I'm pretty really sure great. he's Spanish. He's, I, I think he's definitely Mexican. Definitely right. Mexican. I think he's just trying to be. That's my guy. That's family, baby. Though. He's trying to be exotic. You know, that's what a lot of people do. And they say they're mixed. No. Super great guy. Super, yes. super great guy. So happy that he was on the show. And apparently we're going to go see him live. Yeah. August. Let's do it. Who's paying for those tickets? Uh, let me write just this. just flying us yeah. everywhere. What COVID? Um, we'll be on a plane tomorrow. We're driving. We're gonna Are drive. we? We're going to drive yeah, to Cali. We're, we're going to drive all the way there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a long drive. We should kind of <laughs> film it. <laughs> yeah, we're probably not going to drive to Cali. We'll fly. I have a mask and like you a You know, you've changed, dude. Bubble suit. You used to be so... You know, now you got you know, now you're cleaning your fruit and vegetables and purified water. I can't I don't know who you are anymore. Okay, so how would you clean regular tap water or no, baking soda? The regular tap water has shit in it. Okay. See here's number one, we could have just gone over this as a joke. We could have just joked about it. But you tap you water, wanted to get specific, so now everybody water, knows you tap actually water did that. On fruit is a little weird. So if you are able to use Bougie. Cleaner water. Bougie. Why wouldn't you do that? Bougie. You've changed, kid. That's fine. You know what it is? I've created a monster. That's what it is. Doesn't matter. The whole point is, if you have cleaner water, you wash your fruit with that. Okay. Come I on. want that water that's poisoning us with okay. that water. I didn't know you changed your last name to Rockefeller. Because my water is purified? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Let me eat my strawberries and my grapes how I want to. Too funny. We need to come up with a tagline at the end of our shows. Uh, stay cool. That's on my shirt. It's on your shirt. Right. That might be copyright. That's no, actually chill out. It's chill out. Chill out. That's, that's the tag. Okay. That's, um, let's do that performance review right now. That's fine. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> I don't have to be here. I got a show to watch. Uh, but funny. yeah, what is the tagline? We are gonna have one next week, probably. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, maybe mm. not. Mm. Don't don't quote me on that. Thank you, everyone, for watching, and we will see you next Thursday at eight thirty p.m. Eastern 830. time. Thirty. 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 Thank you. Bye. Have a good evening. <laughs>